Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys an updated video on how to install Police Tape version 3.1 into your LSPDFR and GTA 5. It has been a while since I did this, purely because I completely forgot about it. So I thought I'd hop in here and do a, another updated tutorial on it, since I have seen quite a few of you guys saying there have been a few issues. So I'm going to see if I can fix those all for all of you guys with an updated tutorial. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to Police Tape version 3.1. What you guys want to do is head down here and you are going to want to pay attention right here. So it says that if you do not have a modified game config dependent on your version of GTA 5, if you don't already have one, then be sure to install one. There is no risk of installing one. So if you don't have one, click the info button in the top right hand corner now and watch my video on how to install a game config. If I forget to put it there, then let me know in the comment section because it is highly likely I do that. And also there's a few little known issues saying here that if you have any issues with key bindings, then what you need to do right here. And then there's also another one right here. But if you do have these issues, be sure to read them right here. And if there is a completely different issue that isn't there, you can go in the comment section. If I have time, I will reply back to you. I'm not guaranteed to do so. You will see that typically I do skip over them because I do tell you guys to join my Discord server if you do have any help because I get too many these days. So please be sure to join my Discord server if you need help or any other Discord server. There's a Rage Plugin Hook and Criminal Justice and Jeffrey Gamers Discord server. They have quite a big support team, so be sure to check them out as well. But to install this mod, all you guys are going to do is hit the download link down in the description below. Go to download this file and then once it's done, you'll be greeted with a download file like this. Now you have a couple of options when it comes to installing this. You can use the Lenny's Mod Loader Package, which to be honest, I really, really hate using. But that's my personal preference. If you want to use it, you can. But today I'm not going to. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the DLC way. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is first of all, we'll start with this guy right here. The GTA 5 folder. So to install this, we're going to find our GTA 5 main directory. So for those of you guys on Steam, your GTA 5 main directory is going to be shown in today's video. But for those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory and how to get to it will be down in the description below since I don't have those versions of GTA 5. But as I said, for those of you guys on Steam, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to, if this will stop bugging out for some reason, there you go. What you guys are going to want to do is find whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Go to Program Files 86 and then go to Steam. And then go to Steam Apps. And then go to Common. And then here will be your GTA 5 main directory. So that again, that is Windows, or whatever driver it is installed on. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common. But just like me, if you have it under a custom directory, it's pretty much the same, but minus the Program Files 86. But anyway, once you guys are inside of your GTA 5 main directory, what you guys are going to want to do is open it up just like this. Don't go inside any folders. Grab all of these files right here and simply drag and drop them into your game like so. And it's going to ask you to replace your Rage Nate if you are. You don't actually have to do this. You can skip it if you want. So I would recommend skipping this because sometimes it will replace it with an older version. So just skip it for now. If you have recently installed Rage Nate if you are, it should already be the latest and updated version. Once you've done that, we can now move on to our next one, which is going inside of our open iv so to do that what you guys want to do is find your open iv if you don't have that you can also watch my latest video on how to install open iv which i will also leave in the top right hand corner of the screen in a couple of seconds yeah again if i forget to do that then let me know in the comment section but open up your open iv start windows just as you guys usually would go inside of the dlc pack folder and here you'll be able to see you have a police tape folder so to install this it's pretty simple go into edit mode Go to your mods folder, go to update, go to x64, and then DLC packs. And here is where we're going to put this guy right here. So drag and drop that into your game like so. And you should be able to see it will go from 64 folders or however many folders are in your game if you do have additional mods or high have more, I'm not really sure. But if you go to the bottom, it should be right here. And now next on the list, if you open up the DLC readme, it should normally give you the code we need to put in. Yes, it does. So you will be able to see here that you need to actually add a line of code, which is really, really simple. Don't worry about it. I know code can be a bit scary into your GTA 5. So to do that, go back to your mods folder, go to update and then go to update to RPF and then go to common and then data and then find your DLC list or XML. This should be somewhere down here along with all your other XMLs. Once you find it, right click on it and then edit 
and go right down to the bottom. Click enter and grab this line of code right here. Highlight it all and then control C and then control V and then save. And just like that, your police tape is successfully installed into your GTA 5. I believe by default, the key is F11 to open it up in game. If you aren't sure, you can always go back into your GTA 5 main directory or you can go it do it through your OpenIV if you really wanted to. If you go back to it and then you go into your plugins folder, then you find your police tape.ini. If you right click on that and edit, you should be able to see here, it will tell you your guys' key bindings to open the menu. So I was wrong actually. To open your menu, it's your left control key and G. And then everything else is also lifted down here. You can view them all, you can change them, you can customize them, and it's pretty simple. If you aren't really sure, there's always tons and tons of forums and stuff like that, but it is pretty bulk basic when it comes to editing this any specifically. So if you guys did find this video useful, if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all my other videos if you guys do want to stay up to date with LS3DFR and how to install the latest and greatest mods. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.